Welcome to the Heal Your Life with Us podcast. I'm Kaylin. And I'm Chrissy. Are you ready to get healing? Let's do it. I'm excited about today. Are Are you? Really excited. (laughs) That is shocking considering what we have been through. Um, But I will say I am a little bit excited about it too, because I feel like it needs to get out there. This needs to be said because we have struggled, we have thrived, we have figured this out, and it's terrifying. Well, I don't know if we've really figured it out, but we're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. <laughs> figuring, figuring, figuring it out. out. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, all right. So today we are talking about speaking your truth. Okay. Sometimes that means saying no. Sometimes it means just speaking up. Sometimes it means knowing when to not speak. Sometimes it means just getting that feeling that you're supposed to say something or supposed to do something and you have to listen to it, right? You have to listen, tune in and react. Okay. So we're going to speak our truth today, y'all. So hang on, please (laughs) buckle up. Just Just hang in there. You'll be okay. I told Chrissy we weren't going to terrify you with this because it is slightly terrifying. We didn't realize the levels of speaking your truth, the consequences of speaking your truth, and how it would make us feel. So you can do this first and foremost. Like you can do this. Okay. Let's just start there. Okay. So let's just do a quick definition of what we mean when we say speak your truth. So Chrissy, tell them a little bit about what we've discovered. Oh, oh, speaking your truth is knowing when to speak up when you get that feeling in your stomach, like something was just said and you want to express yourself towards it, but you have to do it in such like a meaningful way. Like you can't do it in like a hateful way or a mean way. It has to come out like, be honest, like don't just like shove it down and like just compact it, you know, well, in your throat chakra and just like store it up into like little knots, let it out and really be who you are, show who you are without being mean in any way. So just be honest and truthful to who you are accepting of others. So, you know, accept maybe someone's point of view or accept some something that someone said, but then don't disagree with it. Just make sure you say what you want to say that is coming from your heart and your gut and your instinct and your throat, your throat's going to throb. Yes. Say what you're going to say, like say what you want to say. And I heard two things in there. Be authentic, Mm -hmm. like true to yourself, right? True to the gizame. You have to, you have to be authentic. And also delivery is everything. So don't yell about it. You don't have to hurt people (laughs) when you speak your truth. A lot of people are like, so this is cool. I get to yell at people. I get to, you know, put other people down. No, you get to say how you feel with deliver sugar on top. Like it's okay to go about it in a kind way. I told Chrissy this morning, I'm not mean, I'm direct and clear is kind. Brene Brown says, when you're clear, you are kind. The more unclear you are, it gets muddled conversation, communication gets muddled. And so you need to be totally clear when you are ready to speak your truth, first of all. (laughs) So make sure that you, what you want to say is crystal clear before it is out the mouth, because that is important. And what happens to the throat chakra when you do not speak your truth, Chrissy? You become Kaylin and Chrissy. You become um, sick. You become, you have thyroid disease. You get sore throats. You have acid reflux you have all of the things your, your thyroid and and your throat chakra are just going to be like, I don't like you. Like I'm, I'm holding all this for you. It holds it for you until there's no more space for it to hold it. So it breaks down and then it breaks you down. Yes, it is in the form of dis ease, right? So it wants to come out. It's an energy blockage. This is why we're tackling energy healing, right? So in my case, it formed a thyroid nodule. It is an actual mass that for however many years, I did not speak my truth. I buried it deep down, didn't process my feelings, didn't express myself, didn't say the things that I wanted to say to all of the people, didn't know I was supposed to, first of all, right? Didn't know I was supposed to. 
And when I realized that I felt strongly about things, I started to speak my truth and lo and behold, lost some friendships, <laughs> changed careers, uh, opened up paths to new partnerships, uh, new health journeys, like a whole new world opened up when I was like, you know what? No, I'm good. I think I'm good on that right now. I've been saying yes to that for years and it's time for me to say no. Now we're not saying that you should say no to everything because we've learned this lesson. There are a lot of great yeses you should say to, right? Yes to that invitation. Yes to new opportunities. Yes to trying something new. Great. Fantastic. No to the things that don't serve you, that don't like help you in some way, you know, that don't guide you to a better light. So be careful of what you say no to and listen, tune in and listen to it. And what we've learned is there are many levels to speaking your truth. There are tiny little levels, like going back to when you were young and you're like, okay, well, someone told me something about myself all of these years and it's festered and, and it's inside of me. How can I bring that to the surface and actually speak my truth in little ways? So for instance... I was told my whole life that I was too loud. Okay. I was told that I was too loud. Quiet your voice, Kaylin. Right. And by my family and by my friends, you know, like you're the loud one in the room. Okay. Well, I'm at the point now where I'm not as loud anymore. I know my balance between, you know, being obnoxious or being too forthright with my like, you know, actions, right? Like I've learned how to kind of calm those waves, but now I'm kind of like, you know what, if you don't like it, go find less, go find the quiet person. I'm not the quiet person. So mm -hmm. this is me. I am unapologetically me and I'm going to be me. So that is a tiny little version of something like maybe from your past that you were like, okay, well, this is what I've heard my whole life. And this is who I am. Wait, no, it's not. It's not who you are. So op be open to what comes up from the past. I don't know if something like that happened to you. Oh yeah, for sure. But I, mine is, um, I don't know if somebody's told me this necessarily. I just know it to be true that I'm a yes person. So my whole life has been if I want people to um, like me or uh, approve of me, I'm just going to agree. I'm just going to say yes, just all the time. Yes, 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 yes. And that is absolutely exhausting. And your throat chakra hates it. So I learned how to say no. And it's not like I'm saying no to like everything in my life now. Like, do you want to do this now? No, like it's not like that anymore. But I am tuning into what makes me healthy. So it's not saying yes to the 18 things somebody wanted me to do. It's maybe saying yes to three things that somebody wanted me to do, but I have to really listen to myself. Like, is that going to go with this thing? And is that going to exhaust me? Or do I even want to do that? I don't even want to do that. Like, it's always about, I don't even want to do that, but I have to do that because I said yes now and I can't change my mind. So How many I'm times have we done things that we did not want to do? Yeah. All the time. Not, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. And then when you do say no, how do you feel? I have many examples of that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go through the waves of emotion when you say no. Yeah, the waves of emotion are, it's hard. So at first, I mean, I used to have like, I think Caitlin and I have the same thing, but we have like a picture frame of words, like affirmation words that we like say to each other, like say to ourselves every day. So it could be like um, flourish. It could be strength. It could be I'm strong, right? I had no written like a hundred times around and around and around. And in the beginning, I would just like be driving down the road. I'd be like, nope, nope, nope. Cause I had to like learn how to actually say that word. And when I started doing it, I didn't like it. It felt like yucky. It felt gross and um it's uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. I don't I didn't love it at all. And then I got used to it. Like I used to like maybe for work saying like no, this is my schedule. What appointments do you want? Like out of these these hours, you know. So it wasn't just like let me squeeze this person in. I don't really have time for that person, you know, because it would be like, yes, yes, sure. Come on. I I have time. I have time. But it's more about okay, these, this is setting boundaries for myself. Yeah. And the, um, that got easy. 
but I think still speaking my honest truth is really hard and I do it. And then I'm like, Whoa, oh, yeah. I don't know that that day feels so good. I, I take yeah. it back. Yeah. I take it back. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do yeah. that anymore. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to get to the, we're going to get to the big, the big one here. But first I wanted to say, you said something really important in that it got easier. So when you first start it, it's going to be like rubbing a dog's fur backwards. It's going to feel all wrong. You're going to be like, no, I really do want to fit it in. I can do it. I can do it all. I can can do this. Let's put it in. I'll make it work. And then you're in the bed because you're exhausted, right? So you you can't do it, right? But then you, when you start to say no, and you're like, oh, I have time for lunch. Oh, I'm taking care of myself because I made time. Oh, that person did reschedule and that's okay. Oh, I didn't bend over backwards. I created that boundary and now that boundary is rewarding me, right? So there's a reward system when you say no. And when you do the things that are right for you, everything is listening and and aligning for you. So you have to listen to that too. And if it's not, and it's not falling into place and those people are saying, well, fine, I'm I'm not going to reschedule and I don't want you. They weren't meant to be on your path and that's okay too. So it's okay if someone falls off and doesn't become a part of that because they weren't meant to be a part of that in the first place. So you have to be all right with losing some things in this process because it's a part of you that you're saying, I'm worth it. I'm here. I'm doing, I have to do my thing. I respect your thing too, but I really have to respect mine first. So there's that push and pull. Yeah. I feel like I have a good example for this actually. Um, for instance, I, this is good. If you want to take something, if you have to take something out of your life to help you, then take it out of your life because it will help you. And here's my example. I kept my real estate license Mm -hmm. while I was on this new journey of being a Reiki practitioner. And I know a hundred percent wholeheartedly that is all I want to do. Right. But I kept that real estate license because it's like, I don't want to get rid of that. I worked really hard to, to keep it. Unfortunately, Here's the problem with me and that if someone comes to me and asks me if I could help them with real estate, I couldn't say no. Oh, wow. We worked on this. So in order to unblock that for me, what I had to do was I had to go on inactive status as a real estate agent. So that by being on inactive status, I hold my license forever, but I cannot um, buy or sell real estate. I can only refer. So I'm not actually able to do real estate and I needed to make space for everything awesome that's, that has come from doing that. Cause I've had amazing things happen since then. So I had to take something that was, um, um, sitting in my way for me to keep saying yes. And I had to remove it from my life and actually take it out. So that made it easier for me because it was going to be really, really hard for me to say no to anyone who came into my path who wanted to help. Well, you worked really hard for it. You know, and I love helping people and I want to help people, but I knew if I took on that responsibility, because real estate is a very time consuming path and career, I would not have time to continue on what I actually passionately wanted to do. And it would just consume all of my time. So I had to take something and remove it so that it was easier for me to say no. Now I have to say no, because I don't have any legal rights to be a real estate agent anymore. But the beautiful thing is, is that you can get a referral bonus. So there's a win-win to yes, it. There is a you win-win. made space and you got rewarded. I That's mean, right. it's part of it. So, so if something's big- in your way and it, 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 it makes it so that you cannot say no, try to remove that thing from your life and just put it to the side so that you can't touch it for a little while. And you don't even have to say no, it's just not there. So you don't even have to practice saying no to everyone. You know, Such a good example. And I really feel like because you did that, you then got Reiki clients and so your face was opening up and you got the studio, like all of these amazing things happened. Amazing so, things happened. Totally. Totally. Yeah. So so oh, this is like a baby level of speaking your truth. Now there's a healing component to this. So when you start to speak your truth, you, f- you feel terrified, a little uncomfortable. Now I am on the flip side of Chrissy, of course, yin to the yang with us, but I sort of felt like liberated. Like I was like, 
it's been 40 years and I haven't spoken my truth like one time. Like I stand up for, I would say I stand up for myself. There's a difference, right? So there's a difference between standing up for yourself and speaking your truth. You can still stand up for yourself and be like, I feel this way and I feel that way. Speaking your truth is like, this is who I am. This is what I stand for. This is what I need to make space for. This is like the, the I'm I'm differing from the past. So there are bigger conversations that you have where you have to help explain people because to them, you're still that person, right? So to them, you're still the one that they can, you're going to say yes to, like, you're still the one that's just going to be like, yep. Okay. Sounds good. And when you start to speak your truth, they're like, whoa, like what, what is happening? You know, like, I don't like this. And it can be confrontational. Now, this is where the delivery of it comes in, right? So you have to make sure that your delivery of it is succinct. It is impeccable. This goes back to the four agreements, be impeccable with your word, right? So there are bigger conversations. So the speaking of your truth, when we say level two of it is like, okay, these people feel very, very strongly about this. They are coming into my world with their belief. And I feel very, very differently, strongly about this. And I have to tell them how I feel without ruining the relationship. That's a big speaking your truth. We'll take doctors, for instance, this actually happened to us and our friends recently, right? Doctors recommend things that are good for doctors. I mean, yes, they are, they are good for the patients, but ultimately it's a win-win situation if they want their money, right? They want to recommend what's good for them. They want to recommend what's good for you. So a doctor may recommend something that you don't agree with, particularly us on our healing journey. We're naturopaths. So we go the holistic route. So when a doctor recommends something that they feel that you need, even though you know in your heart that you don't quite need it yet, or you're it's later on down the path, you need to be able to say to that doctor, no, thank you. I appreciate your recommendation. I'm going to try this first. And if that doesn't work, I will go about it in that manner as I see fit. Do you know how hard that is to do? Because I was not able to do it. Like, like why? I'm paying this person to do it. Like I'm paying them to help me. Okay. I have the choice to do what I need to do. I, you know, listen to my body. I listen to my gut. I can do this. Now, if I were dying on a table, table. Yeah. I'm probably gonna listen. I'm probably gonna be like, yeah, do your thing. But if it's optional and I have options, I need to speak my truth up and out, you know, especially if you're getting signals from your body, you know, if your left arm is like twitching when you're talking to your doctor and you're like blinking and your throat's going, eh, 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 you need to listen. You need to listen. <laughs> your body is like speak, you know? So just, and you know, like there's always situations, right? Family, friends, work, if they're always going to come up where you're like, should I say something? If I say something, are they going to think of me differently? Is this going to ruin our trust? Is this going to break our relationship? Like there's so many questions. And then one day you're just like, I did it. And then Chrissy and I'll text each other like, oh my God, what did I just do? <laughs> Yeah. And here I'll do it. You know, I'll do it. And my husband is an eight. Everyone knows this. My husband is an eight. So as an eight, you speak your truth, maybe more times than others. And mm -hmm. it's just in their nature to just, they don't care. They just want to say what they want to say. And I love that about eights. I love it. I admire it so much. I just would like a little bit of that. So after I did speak my truth once, my husband was like, it's, it's fine. They'll just get used to it. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to get used to this. I don't really like it. No, no, but I have to keep doing it. It took us like three days to recover. And three the days, person yeah. on the other end didn't even care. They were like, okay, cool. I don't like, I don't, they just go dark. And you're like, why are they going dark? <laughs> what did we do? You know? And it's like, no, you spoke your truth. And it's hard. It takes them a minute to adjust and recalibrate to the new you. Right. Like, it's yeah. like, did they just say that? Like, what's happening here? Like you said, like that adjustment, that re that recalibration that you're talking about, that is a lot. That is going to take some people some time to get used to the new way you respond to things for sure. Yeah. 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 And it's okay. It's okay. It's really okay. Yeah. They are going to feel how they're going to feel. Sometimes it's on them. Sometimes it's on you. Uh, delivery is everything here. Be beware. You cannot shout your feelings at people and say, you need to feel this way. This is me heart centered coming from the heart. Okay. So a lot of this is 
taking time to process what you're going to say. Draft it up, maybe. Write it out, maybe. Sleep on it, maybe. Go heal on it real quick. Take a walk on it. Like, get it ready. You know, don't just diarrhea of the mouth. Like, that is not what we are recommending. But if it is like nagging at you, like you're like, why is this thought still popping in my head? Oh, I thought about that again today. This is coming up. You see signs of it like happening. That is your truth wanting to come up and out. Like there is no question about it, right? And if you don't listen, it forms into crazy things. And the beautiful thing about it is when you speak your truth, little bits of healing come in to save the day, right? TPO antibodies go down. Your muscles stop hurting. Your headaches go away. Your stomach aches go away. Like weird. I have had stomach aches for two weeks and I was stressed out about that, but I spoke my truth and here I am. Yeah. Like, well, so let's talk a little bit about like what, what our feelings are. Like, how do we know when we need to speak our truth? Like physically, how do we know? Like for me, my throat will start to like pulse. Like I'll just start to get like throbbing, like heartbeat throbbing. And then in my heart, like I, it will literally feel like it's burning. And like my heart starts pounding, not pounding, like I'm like I'm exercising, but it just starts like beating faster. And it's like that, those are my signs of my body. Sometimes it like the rush of blood kind of goes up to my head too, when I need to say it, like I need to say it and my body is like screaming at me. And then if I don't say it, I might get a headache later or I might not feel so good later because I kept all that pressure inside this upper part of my body. I didn't want to say it. I said, yes. You know, if I say what I needed to say, it all like flows away. Like it just like rushes off of me and I don't feel like any of those symptoms anymore. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. The body is so smart. It is. Uh, and it'll hold on. It'll hold on to those things that you're not going to say. And it's going to store it like probably in this upper portion of your body from your heart to the top of your head. And it's going <laughs> to affect you. It's going to affect yeah. you. You are like a pressurized cannon. And if you don't shoot that cannon... It's just going to be like this lead weight inside of you. Now, for those of you that are maybe like not tuned in with this, like maybe you're not tuned in with your body and you're like, whatever, no, that's just a headache. Like, it, you know, whatever it might be, but it's also a sign that you need to listen to you, right? Pain is the message, right? So pain is the message that something is wrong. Like listen to it so that you can get it out of you in whatever way, shape or form. Now, sometimes you can't speak your truth to the person. And we talked about this in our forgiveness podcast, which you need to listen to because sometimes you need to journal it out. And that could be speaking your truth, right? Yes. You know, maybe you feel truth about a past loved one and you just need to get it out, journal it out, write it out, do whatever you need to do, talk to a therapist, whatever that is, but it's still speaking the authenticity that is inside of you and needs to come up and out. There is magic in speaking it into existence. So you need to make sure that it's not, harbored inside in any way. If you're thinking and feeling something when you're talking to say like your spouse or your partner, and you're like, I should say this to them, but they're going to get mad at me when I say this, take a beat, make sure you deliver it with kindness and have their best interest in heart. Maybe, you know, understand their triggers. Like there's many different factors there when you're working with people that you know, but for me, my symptoms, I would definitely, I have the, um, I call it like my heart pounding in my throat feeling where it's just like full Boom, 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 boom. And it's um adrenaline rush for me. Like it's like um when you're about to handle a confrontational situation and you know you it's like a fight or flight. That's what it feels yeah. like. Yeah. A fight or flight feeling in your body. You know, you get the tingles, you get that rush, and you're like, okay, I'm ready to charge. My armor's up, I have my sword. But and when it comes out, it's just like whoosh, like no, there's no like it was like missed, like there's nothing to be scared of there. Like the fear is like gone, but then, then <laughs> little Mr. Doubt comes over the hill <laughs> and he is like, you just messed up and you need to fix that. And you're like, I just want to reel it back in. And I want to not say what I said. And you're like tripping over your thoughts and your words and you're texting your friends. Like, what did, what did I just do? And then they're like, it's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Like it'll happen. Right. But you do go through that sort of series. And then the next day or maybe two or three days from then you're like, you're right. It is fine. I did the right thing. I did the right thing. I feel good about it. And like you recenter and you build that like sort of brick house back up. So it's, 
it's a process guys you know <laughs> when, you were, when you were saying that I was like maybe that feeling that we get afterwards where we're like no 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 no. I did not mean to say that I want to take back all those words maybe <laughs> that's us mourning a part of us we just let go mm, maybe that's that, definitely it. that was a piece of us that we just let go like that old part of us that was just that was like, who we thought we were supposed to be or do yeah. or say yeah yeah because it's, it our, was ingrained in us yeah, I think it's just our body giving us a way to mourn that little piece of us that we let go for a yeah. second. So that's the hard part is figuring out which part of you needs to do what, right? Because yeah. letting go of yourself, your old self is tough. And we're going to do a whole pod on that because, whoa. But you need to be able to decipher, this is right for me. This is okay to do this you know, and it's okay to feel that after, I suppose, right? Because it's all part of the process. But if I wasn't prepped for this, like we just started speaking our truth and we didn't know. No, no. So, That's why we're out here doing a pod. We were like, we got to tell people what they're going to feel. We got to tell people that they're going to want to take it all back. We got to tell people how to work through this because yeah. we just kind of went into it and we're right. like, what is happening? I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm taking everything back. I'm going to be my old self. I can't do this. Yeah. And when they don't reciprocate, when the person that you're telling doesn't reciprocate, it makes it like so much worse. Cause you're like, all you want to do is say, sorry. And you shouldn't, right. Nope. You should not apologize for speaking your truth. It should make you build up another brick in that wall so that you can do it again and you can be stronger every time. Right. So that's the goal is to like be stronger every time. Now, again, kindness is part of this, but it's really just a process of breaking down old habits and old patterns and unvalue or whatever that word, like non-value, like you didn't value your truth before. So now you are right. It's a, it's a value building wall. <laughs> yeah. So just keep building it. Even if it breaks a little bit, just keep going. Um, and again, remember that the people that are on the reciprocating end, it's going to be rocky. It's going to be rocky and that's okay. Yeah. Um, just send them love. Like, just make sure that you're not you're not coming off like, like we said in a hurtful way or have meaning to this. Um, yeah. meaning you can even explain your situation that you're working on, you know, becoming a better version of yourself yeah. and that you, this is what, how you truly feel. You totally, um, uh, respect the way that they feel, but I would just like you to hear what I want to say. And I have to do this in order to help myself and become the best version of myself. So be open with people that you are working on this. So it doesn't just become out like, and think that you're like attacking them or like totally not <laughs> agree with anything they say. And they think you're the worst person in the whole entire world, yes. you know, just be graceful with your yeah. approach on doing it. And it will, you can explain yourself to people and they'll understand. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be a dragon. Like don't okay. just, go, don't just breathe fire on people and leave and like, I spoke my truth. I'm done. No, don't do that. Um, one thing that came up too is sometimes it's not a one-time thing. So sometimes you speak your truth and you're like, okay, I said this, but then you're like, they don't understand why I said this. I need to have a, a full conversation with them about it so that there's context, there's background, there's history there. So you know, okay, she's saying this because she has X, Y, Z lined up. So maybe this, the speak your truth is the opening of a door to a whole conversation that you need to have. And those conversations can be so cathartic and they can be, you know, groundbreaking for relationships. So sometimes speaking your truth leads to like whole truth conversations. So just be ready for that because I believe that those conversations are a big part of the authenticity factor and the healing factor of, of the speaking your truth. So it's not just like, well, I said it and I'm done. It's be ready to come up with this entire, you know, process behind it and, and welcome those people into that process. So, yeah. and those people that you're saying it to, um, if they can respect that, then that's again, part of your journey and, and are meant to be. And, you know, if they don't respect it, more conversations need to be had and more truth needs to come out. Yes. So yeah, it's a big thing. And, um, the more you do it, the better you feel, uh, the more better you will be at it. Um, you know, I did it this morning even, and I was like, Chrissy, I did it. And I was like, I'm going to go about my day because I can't not Go back. I, can't, I can't not be that person anymore. I can't do it anymore. Like yeah. I was just, just like, it's exhausting. I'm just it is exhausting. It's exhausting You're carrying so much person. weight. Yeah. yeah. Just, it's dumb. So 
So this is amazing for y'all. Um, I hope you listening are thinking in your heads about all the things that you want to say. Don't do it all at once. <laughs> baby <laughs> steps. Yeah. Speak your truth in baby steps, please. Um, but open that door for yourself and see what happens. Maybe start in the mirror to yourself, speak your truth to yourself. Yeah. Um, so um, I'd love to hear, and Christy and I would love to hear how that's working for you. Email us at heal your life with us podcast at gmail.com um, and, and share with us what happened with you and your story of speaking your truth. I would love to hear that because yeah. we're still learning. We're learning from you. We're learning as we go. We're learning about the healing journey. Yes. So another pod amazing pod today. Um, very excited for future things to come. We are on the healing journey events path, uh, join Eventbrite at the heal your life with us at Eventbrite and find our next events. We've got, um, heal your heart chakra with us. We are partnering with well stylist labs on summer solstice events. So more to come this summer, please join us on this healing journey It has been amazing. And we love hearing from you, of course, as always. Yeah. And you can find us at Heal Your Life With Us podcast at, at YouTube and Anchor and Instagram and all of the things. And I am at CBC Inked. Yes. And I'm on Instagram as well. C-H-R-1-S-S-Y underscore Rice, R-I-C-E. Thank y'all. And Thank speak you. your truth. Yes. You got this.